All right. So uh, we ran across something that looks significant enough to share with the world uh, where, where we're coming through on this. And so I, if you want to see the Rickroll video I just made about, about them trolling us with their curriculum for which there's an issue, it's kind of funny. Go look at that video. But there is some useful information in here. So, and if you look at the updates on this, I know it's really, really tiny. Let me see if I can zoom in on it, make it look like a phone size sort of thing. Uh, so this has got all the, the curriculum in it, apparently, whatever, you know, what they call curriculum, look at kind of code. As you can see, there are these different versions in here. And so we were, you know, cruising along in the PDF here, the, you know, all of three pages PDF, uh, trying to find out what's going to be on the CCAD test, like what things to learn as we go through our learning plan here, kind of live. And you can see here uh, pods and stuff, but there's something noticeably not here. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that I would have expected to be here that's not here. So there's no RBOC. There's you know, the rules-based stuff. Uh, there's also nothing to do uh, with packaging, you know, or anything. But here's why I'm making this video. Because then we went on the one that's coming up. And this is the one I'm probably going to be taking. And this is this is funny because this was more recent than this one. But still. Uh, and you click on this one. And then you see I mean, something pretty significant. So the reason I'm making the video is for two reasons. One, just to notice it. And two, hopefully some of you out there have already got this certification. People on the board or people who have got the certification can answer the question. Is there any helm on the CCAD, the CKAD? And I think the answer is a resounding yes. Because right here, application deployment is now 20%. And it says use the Helm package manager to deploy existing packages. And having worked with Helm for the past two weeks uh, with the, the, the Zero to Jupyter Hub uh, 1.01 Helm chart from the Jupyter Hub people, I can tell you Helm is a big deal. It's not like you just throw it into the test at the last minute and study for it. Uh, in fact, of all the things that I hear, you know, seasoned uh, Kubernetes people, which is hard to say because I've been around very long, but one of the huge complaints that people make uh, is about Helm. And, and I personally, I have my own issues with Helm. Uh, I did another video about how to install uh, Helm. Actually, no, I did a kind video and a cube control, but not a Helm one. The Helm install is a little bit tricky and wonky, but uh, it does have a really good script though. So, so just heads up here, people, you got to learn Helm and that means Helm templates and Helm templates, by the way, if you haven't seen a Helm template, I can probably show you one. If you haven't seen a Helm template, this is why I keep saying learn go, right? So, We'll go to, uh, let me see, Jupyter Hub. What did, what did I call it? Jupyter, zero to Jupyter Lab. No, Lab, Jupyter Lab. Jupyter Hub, I'm going to show you. Uh, no, 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 no. Hell no. Why? How dare you say those words? So I'm really glad you said that. Okay, so uh, which version of Helm? Okay, Helm 2 and Helm 3 are really different. I wrote the script, actually, that upgraded our systems from 2 to 3 on all of our app and user namespaces. And I got to tell you, it got rid of Tiller. So which version, uh, two or three, I don't know. Uh, so I mean, learning about how to administer Tiller and all that, uh, is, yeah, yeah, uh, many headed beasts. It is pretty, <laughs> it's exactly what it is. <laughs> so, so, so yeah, what, you know, what's going on there? Um, and, I was trying to give you a sense of of this uh, Jupyter Hub Cube Spawner. So this is the project I've been working on. Um, but I do want to show you what a Helm chart looks like so you can get a sense of, of the scope of learning if they added this. Uh, so when you add a Helm chart, you have to, you got you to learn, this is the values file. So what it is, is it encapsulates all the, the YAML that's required to do, you know, normal stuff with yet more YAML. But, but further beyond that, it puts everything into a template. <laughs> so I, got to, I just have to show you one of these. So let's look at, uh, oh God, like the service YAML template, right? So, or, or like the deployment template uh, are not enough to create charts, just installing existing ones. Uh, install service uh, catalog using Helm. Yeah, but okay, look, 
the, we'll talk about Helm later, right? So the the it's not sufficient to say just use Helm like RPM or APT and install your software. That is not the way to use Helm. In fact, I personally think having gone through this and been burned by Helm charts that didn't quite do the thing or needed slight customization, my personal take is if you don't read every single Helm template before you install your software in your environment, you're a bad person. <laughs> Because because you're going to end up screwed up by some stuff that was in here that you didn't understand. And you can't, first of all, you have to know YAML, right? You have to know the syntax of the YAML, which is already enough. But on top of that, with Helm, you have to know how the templates adjust and work with the YAML on top of that. And if, if, you, if you're shaking your head right now at all the levels of abstraction, so did I. It's like, how many layers of abstraction do we have to get through here to actually get to something that works? And it's super frustrating. If, so the reason that I'm even making this video is because this, according to the curriculum, the official curriculum for 2021, Q3 2021 says, you have to learn that. And I don't know how much it means you have to learn, but if you are still looking at the old material that says you don't have to know Helm and you're just going to, you're going to be good to go on CKAD. Uh, and, and I agree with the decision for them to put Helm there. Helm has become the de facto standard. Uh, somebody noticed that there's no, um, uh, what is it? Compose or configure, whatever the, 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 the other version, the simpler version is not here. Um, but this here is a YAML, is, this here is a Golang template. And by the way, Golang templates rock. They're really awesome. It's the same template language as used in Hugo. So I'm, I'm going to make the case once again, learn Go and learn Go templates. Because if you do, you'll be able to do static site generation with Hugo. You'll be able to, the people who know how to do Hugo templates are going to kick butt in Helm because they already know the template language. They already know the template language for Helm. So they can just read them and go, oh, okay, good. Because they learn Go. So it's one of the reasons that I, I'm just going to keep saying it. Uh, learn Go templates, uh, exclamation point. Um, and uh, say, uh, uh, just know this was not there, was not there, and uh, is not insignificant. So it's not the kind of thing that you can just throw in there. Oh, APT, you know, apt install, apt remove. No. And usually when you hear about Helm, people will say, Oh, it's just a package manager for Kubernetes. And immediately beginners I did, they they put on this they this ease, you know, it's like, oh, it's just like Pac-Man or apt or, or whatever, RPM. No, it's not. And it, I mean, when you use RPM and APT, you 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 you're fine. You're fine. You don't you don't have to go looking in the guts of the thing and changing its values and stuff and making sure it works. Imagine imagine if you had to go through every single package you installed using APT Pac-Man or RPM and look at, at the content of it to make sure it's not gonna blow your system up. That's where Helm is today. And, and if you don't approach Helm that way, I, I'll, I'm going to tell you right now, you're not going to be able to approach Helm that way because no Helm package works perfectly in every environment because so many environments are so different. There's not this homogenous sort of idea. So, so you have to come to We actually have a separate system that we built that's called, uh, I forget the name of it. It's like overlay, which is on top of Helm. So that's like five levels of indirection. So, or abstraction, because now we have one that's got our own Helm charts that we've added to the standard Helm charts, but we didn't want to fork the Helm chart from the application, so we kept that one consistent. And then all of that is just on top of the YAML, which is also versioned, but depending on what version of Kubernetes you have. The people who who, who blow up and, and get angry at Kubernetes because of this, this is what they get mad at. Because there are so many opportunities to make a mistake in there, it's crazy. And this, hopefully, this space will calm down eventually, but apparently not yet. And I actually don't think Helm is going to be the answer long term. I don't. I think I think it's going to be something better that's going to come along. But for now, Helm is a solution. And if you want to see CAD, you got to know it.